What up, it's Brennan here, and yep, you guessed it, once again, we're doing another review, and this time we're returning to the Rossi's Majestic 12 for the third time. So it's been eight months since my last review of these skates, which happened to be a follow-up review, so this is kind of a follow-up, follow-up review. So if you haven't seen those videos, you should definitely check them out, they'll be up in the card in the corner. So I've now been skating this skate for over a year, uh, at least once a week. So now seems like the perfect time to do one more review and give you my final thoughts and recommendations as to what you can expect from the Rossi's M12. So in my previous reviews, my biggest point of concern and one of the only cons I could find with the skate was the overall fit and comfort of the skate. Uh, so just to talk about that now that I've been skating the skate for a year, uh, I have absolutely no comfort issues with the skate now. Uh, so I had a, a light pressure point on one of my feet when I first got these and tried them on, uh, but now, they feel totally fine. I was worried that they wouldn't break in at the start because I had been skating them for over a month and they still had the same problem. But these skates definitely do break in because right now, like I said again, I have no pressure points now. The skate is just comfortable for me. Uh, there is a small chance that maybe it deformed my foot to fit, but I'm more sure that it's the, sk it's the skate breaking in. I even had a friend uh, who's tried on some M12s brand new in a skate shop and felt the pressure points and decided not to get them. Uh, and then jump on my skates, these ones here, and found that there's no pressure point, uh, meaning that I've broken them in. Uh, so if you do try these skates on, like I recommend before you buy them, and you do have some light pressure points, uh, keep in mind that they will break in. Uh, it might take a bit over a month of skating to break through it, but they definitely do break in and they do get more comfortable. Uh, now let's talk about how well this skate is held up after a year of skating once or twice a week. So in the last video I did on these skates, I was still skating the skates stock, but right now obviously I'm not, I've changed them up a little bit. And sadly there is a reason for that. So after about five months of skating the stock setup for the skates, uh, I started to get some really bad wheel bite. Uh, and I think that was just because I had worn the frames in to the point where the groove just lined up with the wheels now. Um, so that made any H-block trick pretty not fun to do because you were just riding a wheel bite. It meant like waxing was mandatory, even to just like slide it a little bit. So I ended up having to replace the frames. So keep that in mind uh, if you're planning on buying the skate stock and you're wanting to skate it flat. You're probably going to get around five to six months of flat skating before you're probably going to have to buy a new frame. But if you're skating the Manti Rocker, you should be able to get a bunch more life out of them and even more. If you're freestyle, you just grind them till they snap, and they're quite a thick frame, so it's gonna last you. As for the wheels, uh, I've still got them, they're still totally fine. So I skated these for five months, and they're still huge. Uh, I've got them as backups now. I'm still really impressed with this wheel, it's a solid product, it will last you a long time. Uh, but I have personally moved away from wanting to skate a hard wheel. A hard wheel will help you with wheel bite because it's like an anti rocker, you can grind on it a lot easier but I definitely now prefer the comfort and shock absorption from a softer wheel. So I've just moved away from this. And the bearings are still all working as well, other than that one that I ruined with chewing gum. Um, so I've got them as backups now. I just couldn't condone not using my ceramics any longer because ceramics is way too expensive to not make the most of. <laughs> as for the rest of the skate though, even after a whole year of skating it, uh, it's all held up so well. I know in the last video I had a point that the shower was uh, bending when I do a Nugent install. I don't notice anything about the skate now, it just feels like right and perfect for my foot. Uh, there's no grind that I do that makes me feel like the skate's not handling the pressure. As for the wear, the buckles are still 100%, still the best buckle in the game by far. The sole plates still have so much life in them, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and I've been doing sea slides, I've been skating rough concrete, you know, I've been skating for hours a week. They still look like they have a long life left in them. When I brought the skates, I brought an extra set of sole plates, thinking that I'd need them after like, you know, six months. But they ended up just selling them to slide because I didn't need them anymore. And uh, he needed them more than me. And yeah, I just, I'm just very impressed with the sole plate. I've never had a skate where I haven't had this change of sole plate after around six months. As for the liner, uh, it's still in excellent condition. I am starting to see some ripping now in my left foot, which is my non-dominant foot, which is weird. Uh, just around the tongue, the tongue must be rubbing. Uh, but the rest of it's got no rips. It's still got a lot of cushion to it. It's still really comfortable and still seems like it has a long life left in it. Now this really impresses me because all my other experience with other skates, 
This has not been the case. Uh, if we go back to my last skate, the Them 908, uh, those liners were destroyed after a few months. Um, and if I go f f further back than that with my SLs, I still have some of the liners now. And after a year, they just feel like cardboard. These are still so comfy, uh, which is very impressive. All the bolts on the skate are still there too. Still got the original ones. None of them have rounded, none of them have rusted or broken. Uh, I have got a little bit of rust happening on the eyelids, but you know, that's just from sweat. That's a lot less than my Razor SLs ever got and the Thems. Um, the overall skate is in still a really good condition for a whole year of skating it. So if you buy a stock setup Rosie's M12 today, you can expect the skate to last with every piece in it for about six months. And at that six months point, you're probably just gonna have to replace uh, your wheels, your frames, and your laces. Uh, everything else, the sole plate, the boot, the liner, everything else should hold up for a long time to come after that. I predict these skates are going to last me at least six more months to another year if I really wanted to. Um, but I'm probably going to be bored of them by then and want a new skate. <laughs> now I think that's very impressive and it shows the quality of a Rosie's product. For a skate that is relatively low in the pro skate price range, uh, you get really excellent value for money here. Uh, a skate that comes flat with a bunch of parts that are going to last you such a long time. It's very impressive. This skate has very quickly became my favorite skate. I absolutely love everything about them. They're a very high quality product that is extra long lasting, uh, that has no extra bows and whistles you don't need, with a lot of things that make it a very great, responsive, amazing, aggressive skate, and a solid product by Rosie's. And I have absolutely no hesitation saying that I recommend this skate if you're looking for an aggressive skate. You can't go wrong getting a Rosie's. It's such a good skate. And that's it for my final thoughts on the Rosie's Majestic 12. If you have any questions about the skate, feel free to ask me in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, you wanna see more like it or just skating content in general by me, you should subscribe. I upload around twice a week with rollerblading stuff all the time. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Costa Blades, Adam, Kevin, Chris, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Joel, Lake Brothers Blading, Mark, Mike, Nathaniel, John, Skids, Grind Plates, Sweet Moves, Targi, and the Book of Grinds. And I'll see everyone with my next video. Peace out.